Hello there YouTube viewers, thank you for clicking on my video and as you can tell by the title this is going to be about the series finale of Sons of Anarchy. So, I just want to point out in the beginning um, that I did not watch every single episode of Sons of Anarchy. I believe I started watching it around the fourth season. Might have watched some of the seasons a little bit before then, but I don't remember exactly. But anyways, I've watched like all of the episodes thereafter and for the season finale and by the way this video has spoilers if you can't already tell it was just really crazy and I, I like the symbolism that um, Kurt used with the uh, I think they're I, I think they're ravens right I don't know whatever Gemma's birds were those blackbirds and uh, when Jax finally uh, did his last move you know and he ended up just running into the truck and I just liked how they tied it all in like the truck driver was the truck driver that was talking to Gemma before Jax went up and found her in the house and like killed her and everything like that and then it was just uh yeah it was just really everything tied in so well at the end um, and I think it was a really good ending in my opinion I know a lot of people talk about shows having terrible endings um, but I think the symbolism and just how it all tied in together, um, was pretty cool. You know, I, I, like I said, the truck driver moment, um, and Jack's just ending it there on his, you know, on the, the old bike and everything. It, it was just, it was pretty cool, I thought. And, uh, Jibs finally, uh, or he is the president, you know, and then Tig was his, is going to be his VP now, and that's pretty cool. Um, I heard... Kurt talking something about uh, there being like a spin-off show or something on the Sons of Anarchy afterwards. I watched a little bit about that. I don't know entirely what's going on with that. I haven't done too much research in it. I'm like busy doing other things. There's like so many things I'm interested in that I just, you know, get distracted by a whole bunch of things and I don't get too in-depth with Sons at least. Um, and it was cool to see Opie again in the afterwards talk. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was pretty tight. So yeah, I was also really pleased with um, Jax's choice and his realization of who he was as a person. And that, I mean, it is difficult for people to change, I think. Um, sometimes, like, a, I think it takes a lot of determination to want to change oneself. But for the most part, people kind of stay the same, and Jax realized that. He's like, you know, I've been the same this whole time, and it's not really going anywhere, like, for his, like him changing himself. And this is just who he is, and it's what he grew up with. And it was sort of like you can't really escape your past kind of thing, is what I think Kurt was trying to do with the show. And it was really, it was really interesting, but I liked how he was telling Nero that Nero needed to get his sons out. And I thought it was even more interesting that he said um, he needed hit Abel and uh, his his other son to, like, he needed his kids to hate him as a father. When he when he used those words, it like it kind of threw me off. Um, so yeah, just a lot of very interesting things happening in the last episode. Um, like I said, it it was pretty cool and. Wendy, Wendy was a really good mom, even, and I, I liked how they did that too, like, even though she was a junkie, like, before, and kind of still was throughout the later seasons, she still was, like, a really good, um, mother, and even Gemma, before Jax killed her in the garden, or maybe it was in the house, I think she was telling him in the house, that Nero's a really good man, and... Just, uh, Jax, you know, was realizing that too, and he was, and, uh, well, Nero actually changed from the gangster life, kind of, and, well, he's at least in the transitioning phase, but he's also a lot older, so maybe Jax just didn't really, well, Jax was also a president too, so maybe that's why he didn't think that he was either, he was either gonna die, you know, he was gonna basically die as the president, unless if he gave it up and, you know, like, what happened and what he did, um, but it was cool how he just, like, how Jax uh, tied up all the loose ends with all the people that were problems, you know, and helped out, he, he helped out everyone that he could with all the damages that he did, too, which he had said in previous episodes that he was going to do, which was nice. So he actually did that, too. Um, and then he helped out 
the uh, district attorney um, lady, and this is really bad, I don't remember her name, but anyways, he did that, and then he tells her that, you know, the bad guys lose in the end, and it's kind of true, especially when you live in a society that's a system in general, the system is always going to prevail because most people are in favor of the system. And we, we've we lived in the system, and really society becomes a system no matter what. Like, you can't really have a system and um, own things. Like, like, for example, like with the American freedom, your freedom is not absolute freedom. It's a lot of freedom, and we still, in America, we do have a lot of freedom, but if we had absolute freedom, then people could do anything that they wanted to, and by nature, there would probably be a lot of people who would do horrible things, and then the society just wouldn't work in general, because you wouldn't be able to, like, have a nice car or home or whatever, because your stuff would be getting jacked or whatever, but that's, like, a whole different side topic, and, um, I just, I like the, the homeless lady at the end, and her drinking the wine and the bread, and then with the birds at the end, and the wine and the bread. And that's that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. I really enjoyed it, and if you guys haven't seen Sons of Anarchy, you really should check it out. Um, but it is finally over now, and uh, yeah. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, listening to me ramble a little bit, rant about Sons of Anarchy, the season finale, or the series finale. Um, yeah, guess I'll catch you guys in another video if you choose to watch another one, and you should do so. Alright, peace.